this could decide if this makes the top three. Oh! Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over the Atoms Premium Foam Cannon. Now, I have two more left, and I basically tested just about all of them for the Keeve score, which is a scoring system that I created for these foam cannons. We're going to do, if it has a 1.25, we'll do it with the Active, 1.1 with the Greenworks. Now for this one, I've done a lot of the categories already because I can judge build quality, plastics, uh, bottle ergonomics, weight, uh, capacity. I can do all of that stuff beforehand. And I gotta say, if this foams pretty good, this could be top three, definitely probably top five. I really like what's going on here. There's just a few things that I wish they would have added, but you can't get everything you want. But Two more foam cans down, and we are going to create the Franken foamer, which is going to be everything that you could possibly get with a foam cannon. At least I hope so. We're really going to try on that. So the first thing you see is this really shiny manifold right here, stainless steel. I almost thought it was nickel plated brass because in the uh, Amazon store it said it had brass, but I don't see any brass here. On the Atom site, it says all stainless steel. So I'm going to go with them as one of those really nice quick disconnects that has the really good o-ring that seats really well that you can hand tight without it getting without it leaking uh, the top is like the most massive cap that I've ever seen it's really tall the threads are monstrous the cap is huge it is the biggest one so far and the biggest neck this just sits over all the other ones it doesn't even thread uh, it's just massive but it has this really nice cool top right here it's just kind of indented and it has little dimples for you to be able to put your hands now the top of the bottle does have a face like where it starts smaller at the bottom and it kind of curves up and this kind of does protrude into your palm while you're trying to hold it so it's not perfectly ergonomic it does push on your hand a little bit but man it's really nice uh, the nozzle is really nice because it does go flat and vertical it does have a really nice and these are really nice they're really tight but they move so smooth when you set your setting it's going to stay that way and it's not going to move the top it's the way I like it. It's the taller knob, more slender, doesn't hurt your hand when you're trying to tighten. Um, leak. It is leak proof from this standard right here, but give it a shake or two and then you saw it leaks right there. But it's not horrible leak. Take the top off. It is one of those larger straws, which I'm not a big fan of, but it is a really flexible straw. Most of them are really hard. It does have a dual threaded cap so you can put 16 ounce bottles in there or any normal bottle size, but I really don't prefer those because I mean, unless it's the last bit of the bottle, how are you going to dilute it? Uh, it doesn't have an auto metering system. Uh, with the griots, it has the dual cap, but it's able to pull with the auto mixing tip only a certain amount. It does get really good ratings for the markings. You have ounces and milliliters. Milliliters about 200 plus. It has a notch for every 100. Perfect for being able to work stuff. 1,000 milliliters comes right here. It is very accurate. Then you also have another 250 milliliters right here. So 1,250 milliliters altogether capacity. So these are the Orifice Finder 9000s. It's basically uh, welding cleaners and they come in different sizes. Happens to be 1.1 and 1.25. The 1.25 does not fit in there. So it is not 1.25. The 1.1 fits just fine. So that's how I'm able to tell. And it is a little loose. So I think. It's like 1.15, 1.2. Um, it's not definitely not 1.1. 1 .1. So we're going to run this with the active. Then we're going to switch to a 1.1 1 .1 that I have measured. Uh, and then we'll run that on the Greenworks. Now you guys get a little sneak peek of Key's crib. So we got a little bit of the ceiling going in over there. Uh, the vents in. All the walls are sealed and finished. The wall mount setup is done. That video is out already. But there's the Greenworks, there's the Active. I'm able to quickly do these reviews this way. Works out awesome. This is the Active. I just tested 13.5 amps, safe. Here's up close. You can see that initial thickness and then it just turns. I kind of like that consistency. Um, like I said, it is not the most thick. I judge based off the thickness because in the end that allows you to dial down your soap and save money. Now, if you're wanting, this is W4 citrus foam from G-Technic, 10 to one dilution ratio. Same dilution ratio I do in all my videos. Now quickly, this is the Atoms with the orifice that came with it, which is probably a 1.2, like I said, I don't think it's 
it's decent. Uh, it's not great. It's a little runny, uh, but I was expecting that because I know this is not a 1.1. All right, so this is the 1.1 Greenworks. This could decide if this makes the top three. Oh! It's decent, it's swelling. I mean, like I said, it's not the best foam in the world, but that is pretty good. I would say that's slightly better than what the chemical guys was doing. Well, that's it for the video. I gotta say, it didn't make top three, but it did make top four with a score of 74.0, just behind the MJJC version two, behind the Griot's Boss Foam Cannon and the Brilliant Finish. That is some really good territory right there. I mean, it is a really tight race in that top four to five. It doesn't have the weight of ball. Uh, it doesn't have auto mix, so it cannot be better. It does not foam better than the Griot's. It cannot beat it. Um, it is very close to the MJJC because the only difference between this and that is the MJJC foam slightly better, it has a weighted ball, but it's $90. This is only $70. And right now, I think it's about $63 on Amazon on a deal. I didn't count that in the initial cost for uh, the score because I go based off of the retail score, not what it's on sale for. So actually, for the sale price that it's at right now, it might be closer to top three. Weighted ball and slightly more foam. That's all this needs. And it'd be awesome. And it got really good foam. I got even 7.5, which rated it above the foam of the Suprints and the Chemical Guys and all that. I didn't give it an 8 like a lot of the others that were kind of close to the same consistency because you have to buy a 1.1 with a Greenworks or Aobi to get that kind of foam. That's a slight deduction right there. If they included it with the package, then it wouldn't have been a problem. Now, time for the nerdy numbers. Foam, we got a 7.5. The bottle, 7.9. Function, 7.9. Four uh, cost was 3.7 towards the low end because it's $70. Quality was an 8.0. Innovation was a 7.3 for an average of seven coming out to a score of 74. Let's quickly go over the details on the balance. 8.5 has really, really good balance. Uh, it doesn't tip over very easily. Markings got an eight really good markings with the ounce and the milliliters all the way up to a thousand. Visibility seven, it is definitely not as transparent as others. The neck an eight. Uh, capacity 7.5 because it got uh, 1250 milliliters and the shape in 8. I really like the shape. Ergonomics 8.5. really like the ergonomics on the bottle as well. On function, the cap gets an 8. Uh, the leak 7.5. It does leak a little bit. Uh, turn knob 8.5. Got pretty high marks on that. Nozzle 8.5. Good marks on that because it can do both ways and it just really feels good in the hand. Spray pattern an eight because it does both ways. Suction tube 6.5, does slightly more than the other ones with the large tube, but it is flexible, so it gets a half point there. Weight, four and a half, that's the big one. It weighs 23.2, 23.3 ounces. I think that is the heaviest that I've done so far. Cost 73, that puts it at a 3.7. That hurts it pretty bad, but not as bad as say the PF22.2 at 1.2. Quality. Uh, we get a 9 in metals, uh, 8 in plastics, 6 in plating, and we got a 9 in machining for a score of 8.0 average there. Innovation on the cap. Dual cap, it gets an 8. Uh, the nozzle 6.5, there's no innovation there other than it just feels really good. Uh, manifold 7, I do kind of like the way that it's uh, designed. It's more like the MJJC. The quick connect, it's got the really nice quick connect. It's an eight. Suction tube, six, because there's no way to, there's no way to ball. Um, bottle, eight, because I do think it's got the nice ergonomic top. That's definitely a difference, a little bit of a change there. And then that totals up to 74. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get this spreadsheet online at some point, but in the description below will be a list of every foam cannon that I've done and its key score. They will have an Amazon link or the link to their website, and it'll also have the YouTube video I did a review for it. So also in the description below will be my affiliate link for Obsessed Garage. I know a lot of you shop there. I do as well. I've become an affiliate 
with their referral program. So if you ever decide to go there, click and go through my link. I'll get a little bit to help with all that's going on here. It doesn't cost you any extra. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and, oh my gosh. I do think it's a good idea to go ahead and do the 1.1 no matter what. Ah, here comes a car. It's a jet flying over. The first thing you see is this really shiny. Um, uh, so the first thing you see is this really shiny, but not bad. Trailer. Clickety clacking all the way down the road. It does have a dual, th really lawnmower now. It's gonna mow now, now. It's gonna kick up dirt everywhere too. Shit. See what I'm saying about the dust cloud that he's kicking up over there? God damn it. And bug, you are dead. You are dead. Where'd you go? Oh, you are a monster. Holy crap. Look at this monster. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. That must have hurt.